Lawmakers in Indiana just recently passed legislation that would allow business owners to discriminate against individuals if they cite their religious beliefs while they do so. That basically prevents them from facing any type of lawsuit if they do discriminate against customers. Now, as you know, a lot of this has to do uh, because of their anti-LGBT attitudes. But unfortunately, uh, Mike Pence, who is the governor of Indiana, has decided to sign this legislation into law today. Now, uh, he did release a statement about this. He said the following, This bill is not about discrimination, and if I thought it legalized discrimination in any way in Indiana, I would have vetoed it. In fact, it does not even apply to disputes between private parties unless government action is involved. So he's not being honest there, okay? Just flat out not true. He's, he's lying. Um, we have some audio of him elaborating on this further. Let's take a listen. Just real quickly. Is, is the answer to my question about whether or not religious freedom has been threatened in Indiana yes or is it no? I don't, Greg, I don't, I'm not aware of, of, of cases and controversies. I mean, I, I, as I travel around the state, one thing I know for sure, Hoosier hospitality is the greatest in the nation. Hoosiers are loving, caring, generous to a fault, people that have strong hearts, strong values, and, uh, uh, but this this isn't about any present controversy as much as some okay, of the media want to make it about. That's where that. I wanted to go it's, because I was. It's I, about making sure Hoosiers have the same protections okay. in our state courts as they have in federal courts and as thirty other states have. And I, and I get that. What I wanted to do was focus in on whether or not this statute is responding to, um, as you say, cases and controversy. Governor Pence, our guest, right back talking about what happened in Scott County. I love the ending of that. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, two two important points here. Uh, number one, they said, "Are we trying to address anything here that's a controversy? And you need to fix it, right?" He's like, "No, no, we just passed it for no reason." He is but, so full of it. Okay, now so, but even if he was telling the truth there, then why the hell did you pass the law? Like, it wasn't an issue. Nobody was being discriminated against. Nobody's religious beliefs were being infringed upon. Why did you do it? Well, you did it because you want to get the voters. That don't want gay rights, and he's thinking of running for president in 2016, and so he's got to be as vicious as possible to appeal to the Republican base. And he's like, I will discriminate against anybody, okay? And number two, he's he's not telling the truth about the law. The law actually says uh, that it it does apply to private businesses. I have uh, the portion of uh, the law that specifies that. While the Indiana bill, which is now a law, says that a governmental entity may not substantially burden a person's exercise of religion, it also applies those rules to businesses and interactions between private parties, regardless of whether the state or any other government entity is party to the proceeding. So uh, that's the whole point of the law. They already had it in, in terms of the government. So this makes it apply to private businesses, right? So now, understand the implications of that. That means you can say, it's my religious belief, so I'm going to kick out this uh, Jew from my diner. I don't like Jews. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can do that now legally in Indiana. Okay, you say, well, that's not likely to happen. Okay, now the whole point is we're supposed to hate gay people, not other religions, but you can. You're allowed to discriminate against other religions as well. First of all, is that okay to say, mm -hmm. oh, these are gay people? I don't. I'm not going to serve them. Not only am I not going to serve them cake, which is how some of the controversy began in the first place in different parts of the country, but I also won't serve them in my diner. I won't serve them in my a department store. I won't serve them at all. They're gay. I don't. Uh, I, they have a lifestyle I don't agree with. So get out of my store. That's that's the country we're going back to. Okay. That is the country we're okay. going back. And, to. Okay. And and but you could also do it to Jews. You could do it to Muslims. You think it won't happen to Muslims? You sure it won't happen to Muslims? What happens right? when someone does it to a Christian? Oh, well, that's uh, the thing is they can. They can. Right. They won't have any customers left in Indiana, right. so they right. they probably won't. Right. But uh, theoretically, they could. And. Uh, an atheist. Oh, <laughs> I mean, they. This could justify any discrimination they like against atheists. I mean, yeah. I mean, your religious principles are most opposed to atheists. It's really interesting because whenever we have these debates, it's always groups of religious people that tell us that, hey, we got to respect their freedom of religion. Well, how about my right to? have freedom from religion, right? So whenever we get into these discussions about reproductive rights or discussions about gay marriage, they want their religion to dictate our lives and what we do in our personal lives. So if you don't want us to dictate your business and what you do in your personal life, how about you stop turning around and expecting the same fucking thing from us? I'd mm. love that, that would be great. 
So now, in case you are unclear as to whether it applies for businesses, one of the guys who uh, championed this law in Indiana is Representative Bruce Borders, and he made it clear. He said, God's words tell us to do uh, all the things unto the Lord. Wait a minute. First of all, are you a preacher or are you a senator? What, what's going on? Okay, or a representative. Well, those lines are blurred right. when it comes to our representative. I know. He says, he continues, if we truly are doing things unto the Lord, which sounds dirty, our business can be a church or sanctuary. People deserve protection in their businesses as well, not just on Sunday morning. So most clearly and absolutely it applies to businesses. We're now right back to where we were before the civil rights movement, where you can deny service to people uh, that you don't quote unquote agree with. Okay? And in case that was unclear, I'm going to go to BuzzFeed and Graphic 7 here. 16 law professors sent a letter to Indiana lawmakers in February appearing to support the notion the law could allow turning away customers. Yes, all those law professors are not mistaken in how they read the law. That is the new law in Indiana. So we've rewound the clock at least 50 years in this country in the state of Indiana. Congratulations. And what's amazing is, first he says, this is Hoosier hospitality. Yeah, classy. <laughs> this is Hoosier hospitality that we can spit in your eye and turn you away from our businesses? And, and, and he's running, he thinks he's going to run for president. And he thinks, well, this will help me with Republican voters because I've won, I've rolled back uh, civil rights 50 years. They'll love me. <laughs> and he's probably right.